Hello YouTubers. Uh, yesterday my bike refused to start when I was some 140 kilometers from home uh, and I need to figure out what was the issue. So let's see if the problem is still there and what are the symptoms. Okay, so you can see the the ignition turns on, the oil lamp is on, the kickstand light is on. You just pull the kickstand up and down. Let you see that works. Okay, let's try the neutral. You see that lights up. So that's working. And when I press the start button, nothing. And also. no headlight so I think this button here is the culprit and uh, I'll need to open this up uh, either well, I don't think it's the kill switch because the headlight is out so the headlight power goes through this button so that's why I think this is at fault um, so let's try to get to somewhere where I can fix it So here I'm taking uh, the switch apart in the local garage I have access to. Here you can see the assembled switch. Uh, later I figured it could have been the issue that the internals of the switch had uh, risen out just a little bit from the casing but the contacts seemed fine um, in any case we cleaned the contacts and here you can see the casing is bent a little bit but that's just because it's so old so it took me a couple of tries to put it back together um, never taken this apart before so that's that's why I did drop the screw a few times, but um, in the end uh, it all came together nicely. Fastening the wire clip here. Nice to have uh, flashlight assistance. Makes life so much easier. Alternative is to get a uh, head lamp. Mm. Uh, about four five days later since uh, I fixed the start button uh, I was doing a left turn and felt something odd with my turn signal switch um, which seems has broken off. I'm not sure, I don't think it focuses that close, but you might be able to see that the metal has been like broken. So I'm going to need two sets of switches, which is going to be a joy for my bank account. 
but we can't let the fun stop just because I don't have turn signals. So um, during one day ride to a camping site, we decided to compare what it feels like to lifting bikes. And uh, also had a little assistant there trying to uh, give his part with some success. And we came to the conclusion that uh, sometimes it's not the weight of the bike, but uh, the shape of the bike that matters more. And now back to the repairs. The switch got welded by a kind fellow biker, but it had to get some adjustments and also the washer because I didn't want to file the switch too thin. Thumbs up is a universal term, isn't it? And here you can see the switch operates as it should. After that I took part in a crowdfunding thing. Sa vedasi, sa ite number 37, Martin Lasta.